true. And the lady who plays her in the film is my next guest. Her name is Raquel Welch, and I have known her now for about a year, I suppose, and I have always found her to be a perfect lady. To my bitter disappointment, will you welcome perfect lady? To my bitter disappointment, will you welcome the lovely Raquel Welch? Let's do that again. <laughs> Gee, I, the last I saw of you was yes. in the in the paper, and you were sort of being mobbed. Oh well, that yes. The... And in a matter of speaking, I suppose it was kind of like yeah. Vietnam revisited. <laughs> you were well. It was the opening of the film, and there were barricades and yeah. surging crowds and all that. Was yeah, that that's little... true. But I must I must uh, I must say that the people who were there, the fans that turned out for. Myra Breckenridge, for whatever various and sundry reasons, really weren't responsible for the broken windows and things like that. That had to do with when they were setting up the barricade, and a policeman uh, found that the window was cracked mm -hmm. and very wisely broke the rest of it. Yes, really, so that it wouldn't break on, oh, on so wouldn't all these other people. Oh, I get it. <laughs> no, but really, and. Uh, the really, they were always figured out right. <laughs> there you are. When I say there you are, there's no doubt about it either. It's really... <laughs> uh, I just wonder, though, what the feeling is when you're being kind of uh, hedged in by a crowd like that. Is it ever? Do you ever want to well, say, out of my sight, you leering fools? Oh, no. no. Well, I mean, no, I mean. I just said that. <laughs> no, I really can't feel that way because. Uh... I mean, they've all been keyed up by a lot of publicity and things mm -hmm. like that on the film. And, I mean, you have to expect that if you're going to throw, uh, you know, if you're, the studio's going to throw a big premiere and you accept that premise, that there are going to be all these people there and you can't then sneer at them. Yeah. I mean, you at least uh, owe them, a, you know, the sight of you and waving and, you know, acknowledging their presence. Yeah, besides that, I, I think uh, everybody wants to be liked. Sure. And uh, you, no one gets tired of fans. Yeah. No, I how mean... How can you, how can you put down something really, you that know, loves you? You know what, uh, I was mad at the time, is they would not. I mean, they, the people there were so panicked, like the publicity people were so panicky, that they wouldn't even allow me to turn around and wave, and that's what created any kind of an uproar, because uh, it's very frustrating for somebody to be waiting, like, for three hours on both sides of the streets, a block long like it's a V-Day parade, and then see, like, the top of somebody's head disappearing in the doorway. I mean, it's a terrible thing to do. And, and I was... Uh, somebody said, listen, here are all these people, and they pulled me this way, and they said, say hello, and I started to pull up my hand like that, and somebody else grabbed me this way, and I said, hey, wait a minute, you know, would you leave? And it was like, this. and the next thing I know, I was being lifted and carried like this, you know, into the theater, and I said, well, you know, you could have let me wave, but by that time, it was too late. That's that probably started the rumors that you can't walk. I mean, you can do that. that. That's what I call a security force. Yeah. Yes, I mean, it, it's really ridiculous because I, I think that... I get the uh, same thing at concerts. The kids come up close yeah. and they just want to dance. And I have cops clubbing them away. And I said, no, man, they're friends of mine, you know. Yeah. <laughs> but they I don't mean, understand. I, I don't... Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, I must yes. confess, in all honesty, that I think that the, the you know, that the police not misbehave, but they were uh, at, at uh, the Over, opening of this premiere. Yeah. Now, I will tell you that the first people that grabbed me were the damn publicity people, not the police, <laughs> you know. I mean, they, I don't know what they were so uptight yeah. about. People who, who uh, do publicity get to grab you, do they? <laughs> Well, you know, it, it's so funny because you really think that it'd be like the first premiere they've ever witnessed in the history of films. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's kind of uh, uh, Hollywood's been going on for a long time, and so have movie premieres. I mean, they know they're going to be fans there. I mean, they rev up everybody, as you were talking the about. Rev. And uh, you know, is there any way, Raquel, figured, that you yeah. can have any privacy in public? <laughs> I mean, can you? Take a walk, uh, if you wanted to just go out and shoot pool or something, some I just wanted to go out and can shoot you, pool. Can you disguise yourself in any way? Uh, pull your hair down over your face? or I don't know how you'd do it. but Following the devastating loss of a lady known as Jo Raquel Tejada, or commonly known as 
Raquel Welch a lady who actually passed away that was today um according to tmz she died and they were provided with a statement and they broke that story born as jo raquel tijada on september 5th 1940 in chicago illinois she's the first child of amando carlos tijada okejo and josephine sarah hall and her father amando was an aeronautical engineer from la paz that is the country known as bolivia and a son of augustine tijada and raquel okizo in 2020 while being interviewed on the talk show uh, that is the tavis smiley well stated my father came from a country known as bolivia and she was of Spanish descent. Her cousin, a Bolivian politician, that is Lydia Guela Tejada, became the first female president of Bolivia and the second female non royal head of state of the Americas. Well, she was named after her paternal grandmother. So that is uh, looking, that is the simple brief bio or what we can term as a simple uh, background of the popular sex symbol star Raquel Welch. She died at the age of 82. Family members told TMZ that Welch died on Wednesday morning after a brief illness and no other specifics were sir, actually given or no more information was given surrounding her death and the cause of death death was not revealed yet has not been revealed yet we all know welch rose to fame for her 1966 roles in a very popular movie i personally i love that is fantastic voyage and one million years bc in the lighter film she appeared in a skimpy dear skin bikini that actually sparked um, sparked the talks of the town during that time with her being regarded as sex symbol status. Decades later, the actress revealed that she had actually felt very much uncomfortable and she almost died because that skimpy swimsuit actually um, was really uncomfortable and even it made her to develop a rush and she was even rushed to the doctors. So we've lost such a fantastic movie star a legend in the in the movie industry and in this moment in time we are sending our deepest prayers condolences as we are still pondering on what has just happened looking through the legacy and actually the history of the legend that is Raquel Welch, uh, this is a lady who actually starred in so many movies, including, like I've told you, Fantastic Voyage. Um, there was also another popular one, One Million Years BC, that was in around 1966, Bandelero, Myra Beckerange, Henny Calder, and so many other movies. She made several television variety specials, and she's been regarded as legend, not only in the movie industry, but also in the entertainment industry. We send our prayers as we are still waiting for the funeral details in this moment in time all we are saying is continue resting in power the queen raquel welch